Hey everyone, what's your scent of the day? Today I am doing um, Aqua Decima Eau de Tallier. Been showing this house a little bit. Nice samples playing around with. There's a story there that I'll share with you maybe in the channel update or whatnot. So look forward to. Anyways, today is about a house called Not Perfumes, a new house for the channel. Custom customizing their cards. I love when people do that. Um, they take pride in this card, as they say on their website, old school embossed printing. You can feel it. You can feel the touch here. Thank you, Brandon. Enjoy your sampling or not. And I'm sorry if I said that wrong as usual. A lot of sorries. But yeah, you want me to get that stuff right. So today, Orm, not perfumes. Thanks for finding the channel. Thanks for finding the review. See you in a bit. Hey guys, so I ordered one of everything on this one and <laughs> they come in the same box and the labels are uh, this. See if this bad boy will focus a little. So they're just symbols to memorize your labels. So I'm constantly going up to the website, memorizing what symbol I have, comparing the notes to her and the perfume. It, it it's fun. I mean, she 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 has she touches her brand on every level. It's a fun thing. The business card I showed you to the, the juices that are in it to these symbols and everything else. So it's, it's, it's fun when people take that much pride in their art. These are x -traits. love x -traits. You guys hear it over and over again. It's x time today. O-R-M is the spelling. I'm assuming it's ORM. Uh, in, in English, it means the long ships. Uh, that's the definition she put. The top on this one, wild mint, birch, pine needle, pepper, the heart, seaweed, yarrow, fir, balsam, cedar, honey, base, ambergris, driftwood, hay, leather, musk. That was the base. I ripped through that. I copied all her spell in here. Marketing nonsense is what she calls this next part. This is inspired by the eastward journeys of our Viking ancestors from the defrosting spring forest of the severe the dragon-headed longships cut the waves of the Baltic heading southeast to trade honey and furs for gold, silver, silk, and spices. Uh, here's a warning she puts on her website. I'm going to put this in the video for sure. x rays are very concentrated for bitten to wear on skin due to the inclusion of possibly dangerous or irritating materials. Instead, it's suggested they are used on a handkerchief and a pomander, 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 or an aroma locket. Some customers are tempted to wear them on skin and report doing so, but they are very naughty people and do it entirely at their own risk. Not perfumes aren't for everyone. It's strongly suggested that you sample before you get a full bottle. In November of 2018, Ready Med Extracts are launched to the public and will be available from their website exclusively. Don't expect perfumes, do expect not perfumes. So again, every cent uh, she's touching her brand here, it, it's a fun thing. Uh, quite like it, what, whatever. I will include price on the website of full bottles unless it's at the bottom of my notes, which I've done before. I don't see them, so I'll put price up there. You guys won't even know that I had to do it later. So when I get these, obviously I'm excited. You hear me talk about houses, creativity, pushing perfumery. You read her stuff, that's exactly what she's doing. And she doesn't care what people think. She's making stuff for her and her creative expression. All about it. All about it. Orm's first one I've tried. I put it on. This is what I'm all about in this hobby. Search, searching this out and being able to smell this stuff and take a part of where art take a part of wearing art it, literally it's more than just 
a, a signature scent or scent of the day. It's physically wearing art based on what you're doing in a day or event or your life. Um, I, 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 that, that's what I'm about in this hobby is doing that. So she's lining up very well with me and how I think about fragrances myself. She is putting herself out there doing a win or nothing attitude. I admire that no matter what. And in most cases, people win out when they do that. Every inch of her brand is touched through this. It's a no holds barred approach to her juice that you can uh, fill at every level from ordering, navigating the website to, to get into. It's an experience kind of thing. It's not meant to be an Amazon or a quick thing. It's it's a point A to a point B experience getting it into your hands and you wearing her expression of art that she put in the bottle. I, I can feel it. I can definitely feel it. This will never be found in the mall. Uh, but here we go, finding her in the her little corner of the world and being able to try what she is doing and, you know, her little shop. I keep saying it. So that's a good thing. You speak of Viking? Yeah, I'm talking about the, the popular one. And I've smelt that a few times. I have a sample of it. It's fresh. It's, it's soapy. I would never imagine a true Viking wearing this, one that you would see in TV or study about in history. This is something I would, I'd see the Viking uh, wearing totally. It does get a bit soapy. We'll get into that in the notes. But um, other than that, of the forest, of all that stuff, the woods, the ground, everything, this is what I would see a Viking wearing. This, um, I, she, the picture she paints, I'm all about it. There are no apologies in, in this scent. Uh, this is a straightforward punch to the nose right away. But if you take the punch, you're rewarded with olf uh, olfactory bliss of sorts. A new concoction never smelt before that will wear the entire day on you. It will be vibrant, yet dark, like midwinter's day night after the snow and the light fading away. That's the picture I get in the open. A punch in the face, a, a dark winter night when, you know, it's barely, you're off work and it's turning dark already kind of thing and it's yucky and wet and snowy out kind of thing that's what i feel with this i feel this on me in in, in the opening of this this is a dirty bergamot to me you put it on you smell it uh dirty bergamot's what i come up with straight from the bottle i would explain that the, yeah the same way <laughs> dirty bergamot um very earthy dirty bergamot it's a mean sniff that is dark. This is a creative genius in the making uh, with the touch that's going on just, just straight from the bottle. If I smelled these from the bottle, I'd almost blind buy these. You have to put them on skin though. You guys know that. Right after the, the, the opening, uh, soon comes out the soapiness uh, she's using a soapy synthetic is my guess this is an x straight format so it's coming out strong i'm guessing the ambroxan patchouli that i've been accustomed to so familiar uh i don't know if it's patchouli in there i guess it's ambroxan she's using maybe a synthetic ambergris that's causing blowouts also I'm guessing here at, at what's happened this, but it, it turns soapy quick. I don't know if it would on everybody's skin. This is something you would have to test on your skin and see how the chemistry works out. I know whatever, I've said it like 10 times on this channel, whatever synthetic uh, people are using for this base, it's not ISO E Super. I, I know that one to a T. I can, just because of, I don't own Ombroxin yet. I, I don't want it. I really don't want it. There's no reason for me to own a proxen, uh, except to explain to you guys. But I still be super. I applied it to my oils. And I'm like, oh, that's that's what it is. I, and now it's just whenever I smell it, it's just unmistakable. It's 
kind of gross. And now that you know, you know, the magic's out of the bag kind of thing. It is whatever. Yeah, so the soapiness really takes over the heart for me. And that's where we're at with that. Right next, a pine comes in. A nice pine. So there, there is a change for me. And it kind of plays with the soapiness. So a, not quite Irish spring soap. I mean, pine soap. This, it, this totally hinders what it could be for me. What, what orm could be for me. This is something you guys got to test on your skin. I talk about this blowout factor a lot. It's just a commonly used synthetic used for longevity that uh, takes over fragrances on my skin. Some people say they can't smell isoe super. That's me. I can't smell it unless it's with other ingredients. I know the exact effect it does with other ingredients. The magic of like a molecule one and an isoe super is it projects the scent you already have. So when you put on a molecule one, it projects your your body odor physically. It projects that. And a lot of people a little bit woody, a little bit fresh, but if you smell it from the bottle, it's not. It just projects what you have with a slight woody undertone. Again, scientists, we need them to, to come on and really talk about the scientific factor of what it's doing. I'm just very familiar because I, I 10 years I've worked with these oils. As soon as I put I saw these super in it and smelled the first time, I was like, oh, that's ice. I, to a T. Um, that's how I know it so well, what was, was that. I mean, that, that's something for you. Take a molecule one and blend it with a fragrance you know really 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 well or an oil you know really well and see what it does and that'll just give you uh the essence of what iso v super is scoring on orm not perfumes should i call it not scoring <laughs> just kidding i do love her branding it's awesome addictiveness 11 out of 15 goes with branding and originality uh the the and the top I couldn't stop sniff, sniff the top. As soon as the soap came, I still gave her a high score because of that branding and OG. Objection Siage, 5 out of 5 for sure. It's a bomb. Longevity, 4 out of 5. It did last. Composition, 15 out of 25. Ingredients, 17 out of 25. The fragrance as a whole, the top heart and base, the top 10 out of 10. You knew where I was going with that one. Heart, 3 out of 5. The base, a 5 out of 10. We got a 70 here. You guys need to try a sample of this. You need to support this house. We need to push her forward into what she's doing. I'm dead serious about that. I don't think we have enough people. Yeah, we, no, we don't. We can have so many more people doing this that uh, we need to push and support the people that are doing it. That's my opinion. And I'll get behind that all day long. Where I would see wearing this, mood or creative, Taking on kingdoms kind of fragrance. <laughs> Colder weather for sure. This this I would not wear this warmer weather. It'd blow up on me. Or at the gym and blow up at me. Who do I see wearing this? Tyrion from Game of Thrones. How many sprays? One or three. Alright guys, that's my review for not perfumes or peace out and be blessed.